welcome to week two, our, our last uh, showcase for sketch level one. Uh, we've had such a blast. They're awesome. They are awesome students, and we've worked them like dogs. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, just so you know, because you're not going to see any of the, the, the people who wrote these sketches on stage tonight, so I just wanted to uh, individually point them out, and they are on, on here. But uh, let's give it up for Miranda Nero. <laughs> Oh, I bet they like to throw parties. <laughs> the 
a backyard has plenty of room for a patio or a deck or, or a, a pool. <laughs> Ooh, bad joke, pal. Ah, who am I kidding? No pants joke is a bad joke. <laughs> so, uh, are kids in your future? <laughs> right now, she's imagining kids running around wearing these pants. <laughs> There's a room upstairs that is perfect for kids. So, what do you say? Do we have an offer? <laughs> yes, I will attend your barbecues wearing these pants. <laughs> Myself, but for all our goodly township, it seemed the Lord had left us. I have given my transgressions up to God's forgiveness, and He has forgiven me. I simply cannot believe that the same Lord that has washed my sins could intend for me to walk away from my people in their time of need. Surely! The election of this lobster in my stead is the work of the devil! <laughs> Farmer Johnson found this creature amid his sheep. They lay around him in a field far away from the ocean. <laughs> That is a curious thing, Goody Rupak. But we must take it as the sign it was meant to be, not for the saving we had hoped for. Do you doubt the Lord, Reverend Harris? Nay! Then you must allow that the rains returned on the very day that we took this lobster as our own. And as we revered this lobster, so have we prospered. The Lord works in mysterious ways, but still you cannot expect to be led by a sea creature. <laughs> we are led by the Lord, Reverend Harris. But by whose hand? Or by whose claw? <laughs> <laughs> Do not be deceived! <laughs> The devil has no hold here. This creature is blameless. <laughs> he cannot sign Satan's wretched book with his righteous claw. <laughs> How can this beast instill in your hearts the word of the Lord? I say, let us both be tested and let God's only wish Prove our spiritual metal. A witch's test. Yes. To ensure that the both of you bathe in the light of our Creator. Yes. <laughs> it shall be done! <laughs> oh, Goody Sander, stoke the fire. <laughs> I will walk in his way. Oh, Farmer Bishop, boil the cauldron. <laughs> A trial by boiling, and the Lord shall save my destruction! <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
thing, tourists on the rip. Just to let the whole world feel it. And I'm still in the murder business. So, I think you're really beautiful. Oh. Um, thank you. So, like, what are you? <laughs> like, uh, oh. like, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Minneapolis. Uh, no, but like, <laughs> where are your parents from? <laughs> Minneapolis. Like, my, where were they born? <laughs> well, I just told you. <laughs> what are you asking? Hi, can you excuse us for a second? Rough out there, huh? Just the usual. We need these. What's this? Race cards. Race cards? <laughs> Race cards. They <laughs> <laughs> work. Each one translates exactly the way people are actually trying to ask you. Huh. Hand me one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Based on your darker features, I'm assuming you're not from America and are perhaps not even an American citizen. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's just my little secret. Why don't you say we have a conversation? Oh, 
funny. Over here, over here. The big buff guy with all the tattoos. Rook, I'm a strong, tough guy. Want me to put a stuffed animal for you? Blacksmith, yet 
He has still smithed all of these items. <laughs> what are they? Iron that has been forged and hammered by the naked blacksmith. <laughs> that one looks like a cloud. Yes. So, you see, the <laughs> naked blacksmith could certainly forge iron into something that would hold your keys. <laughs> you must know him pretty well, huh? <laughs> I suppose you could say, I know him as well as it is possible to know someone. Oh, oh that, now it all makes sense. That makes sense. What? Well, he, he's your partner. The naked blacksmith needs no assistance. No, no, I, I mean, like, he's your boyfriend. What? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> the naked blacksmith. Isn't gay. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Why does everyone think he's gay? <laughs> you know, the naked blacksmith would actually like a girlfriend. It does get kind of lonely down here. <laughs> Trying any of the online dating services? No. <laughs> he's thought about it. <laughs> started making a profile on OkCupid. Okay you, you should have well to go through it. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> I mean, he's got nothing to lose, right? Yes, that's certainly true. <laughs> Listen, why don't you leave your key ring? I, I'll show it to the naked blacksmith and see if there's something he can do with it. Oh, you really think so? Oh, thanks. And. If you'd like, feel free to take one of these crafted items. Are you sure he wouldn't mind? He <laughs> wouldn't mind at all. And someday, when he reaches the level of Master Blacksmith, the object may increase in value. Stranger things have happened. Here, take this one. You remember that's the one I said looks like a cloud? Yes. And someday, when the sky is clear blue, you can hold it and look at it, and it will remind you of a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> It feels as though 
it were only yesterday, we were happy in man's field. <laughs> Life was simple, the way it was meant to be, Edgar. <laughs> It is against the law to smoke in any part of this station. This includes all enclosed areas and the open platforms. This is a customer announcement. Smoking is not permitted at this station. I'll have a cigarette if I want to have a cigarette. <laughs> I don't care if it is a silly thing to do. Maybe I'm just a silly girl. <laughs> <laughs> working in the mill and then seeing the sergeant at the hub. <laughs> I called her the sergeant. Happiest time of my life. <laughs> uh, please remember to check your red luggage right for any personal belongings when exiting the train. Thank you. <laughs> Your attention, please. This is a security announcement. Customers are reminded not to leave luggage or belongings unattended as they may be removed or destroyed without notice by the security services. Security services? They were called that then too. <laughs> and on a moment's notice, those animalistic pawns were allowed to destroy my life and the memory of it forced to evanesce like it had never existed at all. <laughs> no need to do. Oh no, Edgar. Please listen to reason. <laughs> Parents and guardians are reminded that the station can be a dangerous environment. Trains may pass through at high speeds and without prior warning. When on the station and traveling on the rail services, please make sure that your children are supervised at all times. If you see something, say something. Right, Edgar? Right. What about little Peter? <laughs> it was the war. Peter was a good boy. My boy. <laughs> oh, Meredith. Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, apologize for the delay. Uh, apparently, they're taking Amtrak ahead of us. Just waiting for a track to get into the station. Should be a couple of minutes. Once again, there is now bound going back. <laughs> Pull yourself together. We need you here. Now, the people need you to call out the next stop. Stop tormenting yourself and me by living in memory. Now approaching. Now arriving at. This stop is Mansfield. <laughs> Next stop, Canton Junction. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs>
Um, do you know where the hunting section is? <laughs> I, 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 I ping-pong. <laughs> <laughs> Already begun. 
Good God, readings? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean readings? Like, readings that show if someone's a terrorist or not? Like, how does that work? You just, like, scan people? Mr. Brilliant! Hold up a second, Walsh! Marshal Brink, I'm pretty sure you have to report to me uh, to use this kind of things to scan America. <laughs> Whose idea was this? General Walsh! What the hell, Walsh? <laughs> Can you even do that? Why didn't you tell me? I'm the president. Mr. President, the Air Force's assessment shows that this situation is more dire than we ever thought. <laughs> yeah, no bigs just told me. You guys think the terrorists are already no, there. No, not terrorists, Mr. President. Aliens. <laughs> the initial threat that we thought came from terrorists was actually from an extraterrestrial hostile alien force. <laughs> okay, okay. Shit. <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Seriously? Aliens, Walsh? I don't know about this. But being president is really, really hard. <laughs> a lot of people are gonna yell at me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I gotta talk to a whole bunch of people. Everyone's gonna be mad at me. So you're telling me that the terrorists that you thought were before are now aliens? Mr. President. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it? We have reason to believe that the terrorists and the aliens are actually two separate groups <laughs> that happen to be attacking at the same time. How do you even know this? Aren't you a diplomat? <laughs> You're not even part of the military. How do you even know this? Mr. President! Uh, who the hell is letting these people in here? Mr. President, the city of New York is being overrun by zombies. <laughs> That's like a metaphor, right? No, the dead have risen and they're eating the denizens of New York City. <laughs> I, I can't. Uh, what do you guys want me to do about this? I'm not a superhero. I am the president. I'm just the guy who suggests ideas, but hopefully laws get passed. Then a bunch of people yell at me. And then they want me to correct those ideas, and then another group of people yell at me. <laughs> I need to check with 18 people just to get New Yorkers a bottle of aspirin. <laughs> Being the president, it's really, really hard. Mr. President! <laughs> what? What is it, Jerry? Are you a freaking werewolf? <laughs> Do I have to chain you up before a full moon happens? What is it? Mr. President, the machines, they're rising up against us! Oh, come on! post-apocalyptic future. I'm here to take you back in time before any of this happens. He's half machine. You can't trust him. Kill him! I know. Yeah. It's not if there's any killing to be done. It's gonna be me. Oh, wait. Wait. The machines are the one that told us the terrorists were invading. It's oh. not terrorists. They're aliens. Oh, what if we get around? I'm going to get a bag of sun chips. <laughs> no, Mr. President, I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to get a bag of sun chips and probably a diet coke. And I want you all to discuss whoever's idea seems like the most important. Can you all understand me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kathleen, you are the worst secretary.